Okay, so I'm just going to talk through what went wrong here. Um, I agree with you that this um, uh, this minus 2x here is not a nice thing to have. I don't like having a minus in front of the x. So adding 2x to both sides is a really good idea. However, this is a minus 4, and then you're adding 2x. Numbers and letters are different things. If I've got minus 4 and then I add 2x, you can't combine those together. So what you should have had for this line, it should have been uh, plus 2x, or just normal 2x like that, and then still the minus 4, and then that equals 12. And then it's like the normal, um, normal ones that we tend to solve. So then I do my arrow down by here, and I would add 4 to both sides. That would give me 2x equals 16. And then arrow down, get rid of the 2. So we would divide by the 2 to cancel it. Do it to both sides to balance it. And then we get x equals 8. Okay. There's a very easy way we can see if that's right. We can substitute this value, this 8, into here and see if it is actually true. So what I'm going to do by here is say uh, minus 4 is equal to 12 minus 2 times 8. Uh, well, let's work out what 2 times 8 is. That's minus 16. Is minus 4 actually equal to 12 take away 16? If I had 12 pounds and lost 16 or spent 16, I couldn't have done that because I only had 12. So that meant I would have had to borrow some money, which would have been £4, hence I would have been minus 4. So yes, minus 4 is equal to that. So I know I'm correct. Okay. Um, looking at the other um, question just below it, it's pretty much the same mistake. So ideally, after this video, it will make a bit more sense. So you've added the 5x because it's minus 5x. I like that idea, but numbers and x's are different. So you cannot add 8, add 5x. It's the two separate things. So you should state that it's 8 plus 5x. Now that would equal 9. And then we are going to put the arrow down. And we're going to get rid of this normal 8 first. So I'm going to take away 8 from both sides. And that is going to give me 5x equals 1. And then arrow down equals. And I'm going to get rid of the 5. So to get rid of the 5, I'm going to divide by 5. And 1 divided by 5, I don't know, so I'm just going to leave it as 1 over 5, a fifth, which is absolutely fine to leave your answer in that format.